My mom and dad always taught me to do the right thing. When you're little, knowing what that is isn't that tough. But as you grow up, things aren't always so clear. Sometimes you find yourself doing the wrong thing for the right reason. That's all right, right? But what do I know? Skeeter, can you please hurry up and finish so we can go shopping? Yeah, the stores are only open for another six hours, you know. <laughs> I'm almost through! <laughs> Boy, you know there should be a law against the law that prohibits you from taking food inside a store, especially before lunch, or after lunch, or during. <laughs> Are you through? Not quite. I have a cookie. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha ha! Now I'm through. No. I really do appreciate you guys helping me pick out a gift for my parents' anniversary. Now, the main thing is, it has to be something they can both use. Well, actually, the main thing is, it has to be something under $12. But I'd like them both to enjoy it. Oh, hey, look! My favorite store! Chef's Store! Gadgets, gadgets, and more gadgets. Boy, they have stuff there so modern, we won't even need it for another 20 years! Let's go! <laughs> Your parents will love this. Mm. Uh, uh, you know that milk I have for breakfast? Uh, well, now it's a milkshake. Get it for milkshake. Oh, I kill myself. Uh, you know, this would be a good gift. And all I need is a $924 discount. <laughs> Believe me, it's worth every cent. Uh, hey, Nina, check this out. Both your parents have hair, right? Look, a hair dryer. Itty bitty Hurricane 5000. Psst, that little thing, what does it do? Dry one hair at a time? <laughs> cents each. How can free samples cost 25 cents? They don't. It's the toothpicks I charge for. And according to my calculations, that's about eight dollars worth. Fine. Keep them. Now we're square. Let's go someplace else, Bobby. I don't like this store. Cut some cheese, huh, Bridget? Me neither. Their cheese stinks. Even the kind that's not supposed to. Looks like we're not the only ones that don't like it here. Chester doesn't look that happy either. Who's Chester? Right over there. The poor thing. Yeah, he sure looks sad. Supporter, I'd like to point out this pig's living conditions are unacceptable. He needs more room. Young lady, this pig is an employee of the Chesswood Farms Corporation. His living conditions are company business, not yours. 
But the corporation does take care of him, right? I mean, eventually, Chester gets to go back to the farm, doesn't he? Back to the farm. Oh. No, he's not going back to the farm. He's an urban pig. He's a corporate spokesperson. You mean he never leaves this little pit all day, every day? That's his life? I feel for you, little buddy. This is worse than school. What are your children through yet? Chester's job is to attract customers. And all this constant chat is doing nothing but drive them away. We're going, we're going. Wait, we can't just leave Chester like this. Look at him. I think he's trying to tell us something. Nina's right. I can see it in his eyes. I can see it in his corn. Look. <laughs> oh, man, this is terrible. We got to do something. Call the police. Call the fire department. Call the army and have them call the police and the fire department. Oh, Skeeter, you're right. It's sad. But there's nothing we can do. There's nothing anybody can do. We should just go. But wait. Wait. Um... Here you go. A couple of comic books. They should help you pass the time. It's nice, Skeeter, but he can't read. What are you talking about? He can write. <laughs> Skeeter, you're supposed to be doing your homework. All you've done is cover your notebook with drawings of little pigs. Let me see. Skeeter, these are really good. Hey, look, this one looks just like Chester. Oh, and I really love this one if I'm playing with some sort of little woodchuck. Uh, Nina, that's supposed to be me. Oh, well, I meant handsome woodchuck. <laughs> Wonder what Chester's doing right now. Maybe they forgot to feed him and he's starving. Skeeter, don't say that. I'd hate to think of him wasting away. Guys, you gotta stop thinking about Chester. There's nothing we can do. Yes, it's sad, but it's not our pig. <gasps> not our pig? Not our pig? <laughs> Everyone said, he's not our pig. Where will we all be then, Bobby? Is that the kind of world you want to live in? Is it? Uh, well, we could just go visit him again. Mm. <laughs> That's it, Nina. Yeah, we'll go visit him. And when we leave, Chester will leave with us. Know what I'm saying? That would be pig napping. That's against the law. <laughs> or is it? Come to think of it. Never heard of anybody going to jail for pig napping. Ah, so then it's settled. We are pig nappers. Hmm, Chester can come live with us. Hmm. Skeeter, what are you doing? Uh, what? He's a pig. They like a good mess. <laughs> oh! Okay, does everybody understand the plan? Skeeter, you distract the cheese lady. Nina, you push the baby carriage. I'll grab Chester, tuck him in the buggy, and we leave. One big happy family. Any questions? Yeah, how come she gets to be the mom? Yeah, he's right. I'm not ready for children. I have college and then graduate studies, and then I have travel and a career to think about. Fine. Okay, you distract the cheese lady. Skeeter, you push the baby carriage. Anything else to make you happy? Yeah, like another ride in that vibrating chair. <laughs> but we have a mission to accomplish. Let's roll. Hi! Oh, what a beautiful bouquet! <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Do you know what kind of cow this cheese comes from? I mean, that if it is cow cheese, I mean, it could be goat cheese. There's so many different cheeses in the world. You know, it's. You know, cheese, 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 big cheese, big cheese, big cheese, big cheese. Two hundred sixty-seven France alone, and two hundred sixty-eight counting American. But then again, American isn't French, so you don't have to count American. I had to stick with two hundred sixty-seven. We're attracted to too much attention. Skeeter, get in there with them and calm them down. That's a good idea, B. All right, scoot over, Chester. Incoming. And then you subtract the holes that are in Swiss, which is a good thing to do. <laughs> it counts. You know what? Forget the cheese. I just remembered I'm lactose intolerant. So um, thanks for your time. Bye. Hey, where do you think you're
if I have a look in there, uh, you wouldn't believe the things people try to steal. We're kind of in a hurry. Won't take but a second. <laughs> oh, how adorable! Identical twins! <laughs> you know, I'm not sure what we did today was 100% legal. Who am I kidding? It was 100% illegal. But you know what? I'm glad we did it. She deserves a better life than being a prisoner of trust with farms. Yeah, you're right, B. Now he's as free as he wants to be. I'm gonna smell like some bacon for a week, but it was worth it. You okay, Chester? Oh, uh, yeah, he's okay. I emptied the trash compactor in there. He's in hog heaven. <laughs> Hey guys, just came in to say good night. You get all your homework done. Mm -hmm. Uh, sure did, Dad. Every bit of it. Skeeter didn't hit, night is fine. <laughs> fine. It's all finished. Ooh, what's that smell? Uh, th uh, that would be me, Uncle Andre. I left my dirty socks laying around again. Uh, uh, oh boy, oh boy, what's the matter with me? Oh, I promise it will never happen again. Thanks, Skeeter. If that problem gets any worse. <gasps> I got some powder for it. <laughs> Good night, guys. Somebody say something? No, Dad. I just burped. Uh, Too uh -huh. much for a beer dinner, I guess. <laughs> Good night. Good night. I hope you appreciate this, Chester. We really saved your bacon. We saved you from being bacon. Get it? Being bacon? Oh, wow. <laughs> He's not laughing. Uh, do you think he's sick? I told you not to feed him caramel corn. He's not sick. He's depressed. Look at him. He was a prisoner in the store, and now he's a prisoner here. Looks like we didn't do him such a big favor after all. Stop talking crazy, B. Come on, tomorrow we're gonna take Chester out to see a little bit of the Big Apple. New York, New York. The city's so nice that he named it twice. <laughs> A bucket of mud. Uh, um, take, take, take a mud bath. What else? I, I got the tip from one of your beauty magazines. Uh, mud is the secret to your glowing complexion. Am I right, A.B.? Well, gotta go, pretty lady. <laughs> Woo. Oh, uh, and, uh, A.B., the magazine also said that when you're in the mud, uh, you're supposed to make a noise like this. <laughs> so, um, if you hear a noise like that, then that's just me beautifying myself. Hello? Yes, this is the Walker residence. The police? Oh, no, I don't know anything about a pig, officer. Look, I'm sorry. If there was a pig in my house, I believe that I would... <laughs> Uh, I'll have to call you back. Mom, we know it was wrong to bring Chester home. But it's even more wrong for those Chestwood Farms people to keep him locked up in that little pen and treat him like an animal. I see. And that's your story? Uh, depends on whether or not you like it. If you don't, then it was all Bobby's idea and I had nothing to do with it. 
Oh, Mom, you could have seen Chester's little face. It was so full of joy, especially on the Empire State Building, right before he threw up. <laughs> Boys, the man from Chestwood Farms wants his pig back, and he's pressing charges. He's threatening to take you to court. Let him. He can't prove it was us. You don't think the second largest meat and cheese processor on the East Coast doesn't have security cameras? Oh, we're on video? Oh, man. I hope they got me from my good side. <laughs> Listen to me. <laughs> Like I have a bad side. He's gonna take us to court? Uh, yeah. Don't worry, B. We'll fight it. Let him take us to court. We'll win. All we need is a really smart lawyer. How about Mom? Uh, and Vanessa, when you're in court, do you usually handle yourself in a polite, quiet, dignified manner? Uh, of course. Oh, well, never mind then. I'll handle this case myself. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the case of the Pilford Pig. This is a very complex case with a lot of emotion and intricate legal points. It's really very difficult to put this into layman's terms. You stole my pig! We did not! Did two! Did not! Did two! See you know what I mean? There you have it. That is the case in a nutshell. Now, time to turn things over to the good judge. Court is now in session. I believe this proceeding concerns a pig. Who wants to go first? I do. Did you two take my pig? Yes, uh, but... No further questions, Your Honor. I rest my case. Can I have my pig back now? Just like being in the movies, huh, Chester? <laughs> Not so fast, Mr. Slayer. It would be nice if we gave the other side a chance to speak, don't you think? Okay, what do you have to say for yourselves? Well, Your Honor... Let me handle this, B. <clears throat> Your Honor... This young man here had nothing to do with the kidnapping in question. No, it was all Skeeter's idea. And, and who is Skeeter? I am, Your Honor. And if I may, I would like to call myself to the stand. Well, it's a bit unusual, but if it'll move things along, go ahead. I call Skeeter to the stand. Skeeter in the house. I said it's Skeeter in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Your Honor. Skeeter's the name. I know your name. What I don't know is what happened. Could you please tell us? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Skeeter, could you please tell the court in your own words how and when and why and where the pig in question came to be in your possession? <laughs> I'd be happy to. I was at the West End Shopping Pavilion doing what I usually do on a Saturday, handing out free balloons to the children. <laughs> There you go, sweetie. There you go, big guy. Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh, well, maybe just one. I'm not really hungry, but I do not wish to hurt your feelings. Put that down! The free samples cost 25 cents. Get out of my store! <gasps> yes, sir! Sorry, sir! I didn't mean to disturb you, sir! <laughs> oh, look at the poor little piggy! Maybe poor, but he's making me rich! <laughs> it was horrible the poor little pig was being treated like a dog he was being used and abused disrespected and grossly neglected mistreated and short cheated which is hard to do with a pig <laughs> and what did you decide to do about that skeeto i had no choice Save you, little piggy! Run, Chester! Run for your life! Be free! Grow proud! Grow tall! Grow fuck! <laughs> this is totally unacceptable! That's my thing! Here, here Chester! So he! Not anymore, amigo! <laughs> <laughs> It's a very moving tale. But the police report said your cousin snuck you and the pig out in the baby carriage. Or we could go with that story. <gasps> no further questions, Your Honor. Call your next witness. <clears throat> uh, Bobby Walker in the house. Bobby Walker in the house. Bobby Walker. Uh, oh. 
Your Honor, we never meant to commit a crime. All we want to do is give Chester a chance to run and play and have fun. I know he doesn't rightfully belong to us, but he shouldn't belong to someone who mistreats him either. Please, don't give him back to that cruel man. <laughs> that was beautiful, B. I could have said it better myself. Chester couldn't have said it better himself. He could talk, which he can't, poor thing. <laughs> Okay, Your Honor. My next witness is Miss Nina Jones, world famous animal psychologist. <laughs> this young lady has a degree in psychology? Well, not exactly. Let's hear what you have to say. Well, Chester was not happy. It was a classic case of pig depression. Thank you, Doc. So, what you're saying is the pig was not mentally fit. That's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> there you have it, Your Honor. If the pig isn't fit, you must acquit. <laughs> Look at the pig's eyes. They tell no lies. Admit what you see. Chester should be free. What are in that boy? Oh, come on, this is ridiculous. He's my pig and I want him back. These people here broke the law. Case closed. Well, folks, I have to admit... This is a tough one. You boys clearly love the pig. The pig clearly loves you. But on the other hand, it rightfully belongs to Mr. Schinkenschleyer. So, after hearing the whole Magilla, I guess the question is, what's right for Chester? <laughs> What do you think, Chester? Now, whenever you need some privacy, just tuck in here for a little R&R. Mm-hmm. By the way, I put our number on speed dial in case you need to give us a shout. It's the second one right after pizza delivery guy. Bobby, the place looks great. And Chester sure looks happy. He's lucky to have you for a friend. You know what? So am I. Mwah. <laughs> so you want to go for a walk, little fella? Oh, Nina, I just got here. Not you. <laughs> So, Bobby, do you think Chester's okay now? I think so. Check it out. It turns out the judge is pretty smart after all. Mr. Schenkenslayer got to keep his pig, but only on the condition he made Chester's pen bigger and better and comfy and cozier. Skeeter, Nina, and I also got visiting rights, so I guess you could say this was a case everybody won, especially Chester. Hey, guys, wait up! 